Well, hi YouTubers, I want to show you this uh, bracelet that I've just uh, finished doing and I'm going to leave you a link below of a website called at a, a YouTube channel called uh, Tiny It All Together that actually has the full details on how to make this uh, uh, bracelet and I just wanted to show it to you and tell you, give you a few points on how to make it and uh, that with, with, the, with the other video is going to make uh, it uh, easier. Well, first thing, as you see, the, the, the bracelet has two sides. One side is where in the middle the, 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 cord, the cordage goes sideways, okay, this way. And the other side is, it has two uh, loops in the middle, okay? Loop, one loop, one loop, then, then the other, another one, okay? So, I don't know if it shows in the, in the video, I hope so. But uh, when, you, when you're working on the bracelet, you're always working on this side. If you look at the, at the video uh, in the link that I will uh, send you, okay? That I will attach. So, uh, you always have to work on this side, okay? Uh, when you're looking at the video and you're asking yourself, uh, I'm saying that, that if you like start making the bracelet and then you go back to it, you need to go back to this side, okay? So that's one thing. Now, I actually made a mistake when making this bracelet and, and when I got to the finish, uh, the ending, it was too large. So I had to uh, untie a lot of the, the work and then uh, I needed to cut the cord and actually what I did is that as I sewed okay I sewed over here I sewed uh, these these two pieces and uh, then or before I can't remember I burned it so basically and then uh, also in in finishing the the rope you need to cut it in the sides like this and then burn it and when you burn you know the cordage it uh, if you do it correctly you can actually combine the the burning with the other uh, rope and this way it stays in place I, I don't know if I'm clear or not I hope so anyway it's really good uh, uh, survivor bracelet I've used a buckle that has a whistle in it this is a whistle okay you can see it has a whistle there you blow over here it's actually a very loud whistle I'm going to add a a search phrase for for you to look look it up uh, on eBay if you wish to, and uh, also uh, I will I will also add that this bracelet is uh, has a roping of about uh, five meters meters. I don't know how much it is in feet. You know, make the calculation or whatever. Uh, but it has five meters of rope in it, which is awesome for a survivor survival. Uh, a bracelet so there you go that's my uh, bracelet it took a, it took a while it was a journey in a way <laughs> but uh, you know it, it one of, one of these things that when you make the first one it's like a bit a, at least until you get up to here you know the first few uh, ties but when you get here all the way here it's like no problem and if I have to make another one like this I could probably make it really fast because uh, you know you get the hang of it so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video.